Today we're gonna be checking out two Popeyes horror stories. Bro, the only horror story I would know from Popeyes is getting a small ass chicken sandwich, because that has happened to me before, bro. All right, so what's cracking? The Popeyes brawl. Back in the summer of 2019, okay. Popeyes launched a new chicken sandwich that immediately. What did I say, bro? Chicken sandwich. Focus. Mid. Mid at best. It became their best selling Mid item best. on the menu. The sandwich was so popular, in fact, that it started selling out quickly, Everywhere. leading to shortages, fist fights, even a few murders. Yeah, people were getting shot people about the Popeye's chicken sandwich, bro. For the chicken. Listen, I'm gonna it be real. It was good, but Chick Fil A better. McDonald's chicken sandwich better. I'm 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 even gonna say Burger King chicken sandwich might be better. Popeye's mid. Chicken sandwich mid. And even with all, all the, the hype, profits no reason. we saw, I started all the hype, praying no that reason. Popeye's would never for reach real. the same kind of popularity again. I've managed my local Popeye's for seven years. Okay. I'm watching two middle-aged women beat each other with chairs, trying to get the last sandwich we had in stock, <laughs> is by far the lowest point in my professional career. Bruh, unless you're starving, at least no it need. was the lowest so far. No need. And likely to lose its spot since there was a rumor a new special sandwich was coming out in the fall. Which is what? Due to my Popeye's burger and track record, Popeye's corporate sometimes includes me and a few other managers in on focus groups. Okay, big boss. It was boss. my turn to host. Yes, sir. So six of us, five local managers and the representative from corporate, all met at my franchise at four in the morning. Okay, I dang. used my key to let us in, but hurried everyone through the kitchen without turning on the dining room lights. Once the six of us were seated around a huge prep table. And Let's go with this guy. Is that supposed to be the Colonel or something? I'm back. confused. The guy placed a metal case down in front of him. I'm confused. He was a small man, balding. He looks like mini me from Austin Powers. On God. My name is Peter. Hello, Peter. The guy from corporate told us. My name is Peter. Obviously, that's not my real name, but that's what you're going to call me moving forward. I cannot. Why is this guy making it seem like he's some like covert op or something like that? What's good with this guy? Stress this enough, but everything you see, hear, and taste today is top secret. And under the intellectual property protection of Popeyes Incorporated, no way this guy is Peter followed up on his statement by passing no out non-disclosure agreements that we each had to sign. You gotta sign an NDA those for Popeyes, bro. He opened the metal case and extracted a laptop, then instructed us to gather around on the other side of the table so that we could see the screen. I want to show you all some test footage okay. so you have the idea of the effect that the product is having. Peter said. What do you mean by that? Before we start, I jumped in. Can you tell us more about what the product actually yeah, what, is? Yeah, what is the product, my friend? Peter shook his head. Watch the video first, then questions. All right, relax. We all the tuned in to see the screen. It was security footage of a small room where a dozen or so people were seated around oh, a table. Oh, dude, Each real life tests. Each person had a plate in front of them with Bro, food and a drink. Real life tests. The familiar Popeye's logo. They appeared to be mid-meal. I was about to ask Peter what about was the to go point crazy. of spying on people eating when a man began to twitch on screen. A woman soon joined him, falling out of her chair while another began laughing hysterically. Bro, the scene quickly devolved into- The most messed up part is this shit's real, bro. They do this shit all the time. All the time. It's crazy. Chaos, with Absolutely people crazy. fighting, jumping on the table, and then the video was cut short Absolutely when a crazy. woman swung a chair high, hitting the security camera in the process. What in the world was that? People are crazy, Asked bro. Asked Frank, one of the other managers. That was a test of the first batch of the product, Peter replied, putting away the laptop. Thankfully, now that we are at batch number seven, we think we've ironed out any issues you better hope so we'd like for you five some of our most reliable managers to get a preview of the product before we begin general rollout next year peter opened the metal container and withdrew five smaller objects they looked like futuristic tupperware i slid I'm one to each of us and gestured for us to open the boxes Fuck no, baby. inside of mine was a very fresh looking still hot not cheeseburger not. I'm not eating that. I glanced around and saw that all five managers received identical burgers. 
Nope, not eating it. Sorry. Is this beef? Another manager, Bobby, no. asked. Legally, we can't call it that, Peter said. Russell, what is I it? I poked the burger. I mean, is it from a cow? It's lab grown. So vegan. Oh, hell Frank no. Asked. Legally, hell we can't no. call it that. Peter so what can you call it? Please give it a try. We are excited no. to add cheeseburgers to the Popeye's menu. No, I can't. I'm we sorry. think that this is going to be even bigger of a rollout than with the chicken sandwich in 2019. Bruh. I picked up the burger but hesitated. I kept thinking of the scene we'd watched on the laptop. Peter was looking at me like he could read my mind. I'm not eating that shit. Sorry. Absolutely I'm walking right nothing out. to worry about, he said. You know what? He probably told the other people that too. There's a lot to worry about. I'm not eating it. I just showed you all of that for transparency and to highlight how far we've come with the product. I guarantee this is going to be the best burger you've ever eaten. Well, it's not a burger because it's I not took beef. A bite. He was right. The flavor was unreal. A crashing wave of savory, like salty, mouth smoky Look notes at him. that swept me up and dragged me away him, deep into happiness. I took another bite. Reveling in the crunch of the pickle and the onion, and the heat from the unusual but perfect sauce, and the meat. I can't describe it. The taste, the texture, they were... Pause. <laughs> you you forgot to pause after you just said all that sus shit. All the best Let's go with this guy. ever experienced. Let's go with this guy. I went to take another bite and, and realized that I'd finished the burger. I looked around feeling half in a daze. All the other managers were finished as well, and staring Damn, at each other with the that. same slack-jawed look that I felt they dogged in my that. own face. Peter curiously reached into his pocket and took out a stopwatch. He activated it with a click and sat how long on it takes the end of the crazy. table next to the big metal case. Nothing happened for several seconds. Then Frank spoke. More, he said, reaching towards his neighbor's plate. Is there more here? You have to give us more. Does it look like there's more? The owner Frank? Of the plate, a woman named Catherine, slapped Frank's hand away and pulled the dish up to her face so she could lick the few flecks of remaining sauce. Bruh, this is we creepy. We all followed her cue and did the same. I was hit with that rush of flavor again, but only for an instant. Then That's like a all drug. the crumbs and drips and bits were gone, and I felt like I was starving. Give me another, I heard myself tell Peter. There's They're gonna some eat sauce Peter. left on your hand, Frank said, grabbing my arm, his eyes wide and bloodshot. I tried to yank my hand back, but he sank his teeth into my palm before I could. <laughs> I thought this man was about to suck this man's fingers, bruh. Hey, yo! I yelled and punched oh Frank my in the God. jaw. I thought he was about to suck floor. his fingers, bro, after that other stuff. We need sushi. more! Someone yelled. Choking him out! It might have been me. Somebody was trying to take the crumbs that had fallen off my shirt. A fist connected with the back of my head. This is crazy. I had someone in a choke hold, and I think I was screaming, this is absolutely crying, insane. Or laughing. The last thing I remembered seeing before blacking out was Peter taking a gas mask out of the metal container, then hitting a hidden button. Hazy gas filled the room. It makes him pass out and like go back blur, to like normal. Then go dark. When I woke up. We were all seated around the table again. Peter was going What's around with, the, with the first aid kit and a glasses of water. Is everyone awake? He asked. Good. First thing, you're all okay. Craving for the product can be powerful, but it is fleeting. You should avoid red meat in the future, though. Reminding your taste buds of the product could cause a flare-up. What did you do to us? Frank asks, rubbing his bruised jaw. I thought you said the product was ready. It is, and it isn't. I told you it would be the best burger you ever had, and I don't think anyone here would disagree. The main issue is that we that. need the craving to be less intense, but long-lasting. I had high hopes that this batch would nail that, but I'm afraid it's back to the drawing lab. I looked down at the bite marks on my hand. Y you, you can't just give this to customers. 
Oh, he's there going to. There will be to. riots. And they're doing it People now. People die. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry to tell you, but they are doing that now. Why do you think I can have this delicious chicken breast and rice, or I can have this quarter pounder with cheese and fries? Huh. When I eat this, I feel good, but ten minutes later I feel like shit. But it tastes good. It tastes pretty good, but not as good as the burger and fries, but after I eat it, I feel okay. They're already doing it. Nothing new. This is nothing new. Nothing Peter new. Shrugged. Sometimes that's the price of doing business, but all don't about worry. The, it's all about the... We'll continue to tweak the money. product, and we will let you know when it's, it's all ready. all about the money, man. That morning with the product was six months ago. I'm breaking my NDA by talking about this, but I yeah, can't keep it going. That NDA, longer. man. It might be this year, or next, or maybe the one after, but soon enough, Popeyes is going to release a new product. Don't a eat cheeseburger. It. Don't eat it. And you want it. Don't eat it. I'm very afraid it. that it's going to be the best burger you've ever tasted. Don't eat it, bro. Seriously. Don't eat it. Story number two. What do we you got know going? how you can sometimes tell somebody is going to be trouble just by the way that they are standing in line at a Popeye's restaurant? Listen, I've only ever made sandwiches. I never worked at like a fast food. I've only worked at like a sandwich place before. So I don't know. I'm trying to think. Nah, never had really any crazy customers. I picked customers. up on that vibe from not just one person, but a couple from the moment I noticed them waiting to get served. The guy was a big biker type, so? all tattoos and leather, with a long beard and Maybe lumps of muscle everywhere. I immediately started thinking of him as Popeye in <laughs> my mind because of his massive forearms. Fair enough. The man looked dangerous and deeply, deeply irritated. But the lady standing next to him, despite barely being five foot tall, made me much more nervous. Oh, dude. People that are on their phones like that, bro, are the worst. She was on her phone the while worst. in mind, practically the absolute screaming worst. at somebody at the other end. Her dress was shocking red, a burst cherry, and her hair was a brittle tangle of bleached blonde curls, likely a wig. Since her man was Popeye, Called I mentally her labeled her How likely Olive. a wig? I eyed the couple That's nervously crazy. from behind the cast register as the line advanced. This was only my second month working at Popeyes, and already I felt completely burnt out. Between rude customers, chaotic shift changes, and chronic understaffing, I dreaded coming into work each day. That's fair. Popeye and Olive grew increasingly restless while waiting to be at the counter. Part of me sympathized with them since the restaurant was short-staffed. The lunch and the dinner rush were usually a nightmare. I remember that afternoon was particularly slow due to two cashiers calling out sick. Bro, that's the worst, By the bro. time the couple Listen, got if you close, call out same, Popeye was... If you call out same day out of work, you're a piece of shit. ...was openly glaring Plain at simple. me, and Olive was walking back and forth from her place in line to the counter. I hate people like that, bro. She finally hung up her phone, and I overheard her say in a fake whisper to the guy, they should replace all these cashiers with self-checkout. Kids are so lazy and slow these days. I didn't take it personally, but I was moving as fast as I could to process yeah, of orders. Course. Still, I avoided eye contact with Popeye and Olive as until there was should. only one person in line ahead of them. It was a skinny kid in a Tommy. hoodie. Probably a student from the local college, little Tommy. judging by his backpack. Yeah, little Tommy. He looked young enough, though that he might have even been a high schooler. Okay. I appreciated that the guy was waiting patiently for his turn. As he so should. I was taken aback when Olive walked right up to the counter, no cut way. in front of him, and tried placing her order. Give me a number four and a twelve. Nope. She Sorry. barked. I can't. And I think we should get a discount since we were waiting here half an hour. The kid cleared his throat. <clears> um, <throat> excuse me. I'm actually next in line. There are two lines, Olive snapped. The skinny guy looked at me for support. I didn't want to get involved, but you I'm have also to. not a fan what do you of mean? bullies. You have to. There's only one line, I explained. I go back. Well, we were here first, regardless, Olive told me. What? You saw us coming first, didn't you? Both Olive and the kid in the hoodie were looking at me. 
All I could do was hold up my hands Bro, what is and she on? I really didn't know who came in first. Who cares? Though the young guy was clearly ahead of the couple in line. Look, I've been waiting just as long as you have, the kid said. And I'm going to place my order. You can go as soon as I'm done. Olive stared at him for a moment mm -hmm. before whirling around and stomping yeah. back to the place in line. Yeah. I smiled Listen at the to my man's guy, Tommy. impressed that he stood up for himself. Listen to my man's Tommy. He gave me a nod back and opened his mouth to place his order. Oh, she's about to hit before him with something. Before he could, I caught the tail end of whatever Olive was whispering to Popeye. Oh, something similar no. to, are you going to let him talk to me like that? Apparently, Popeye was not because he stepped forward and sucker punched the kid in the back of the head. Like I said. The skinny guy collapsed, banging his forehead into oh, the counter as he fell. I stared at the scene, oh, struggling no. to keep up. I'd never seen an outburst of violence just come out of the blue like that. No warning. Bro, no his girl was in the wrong. It is what it is. No wind up. Just Popeye throwing a haymaker from behind and a what man it is. half his cheap size. Shot. Absolute cheap shot. Unfortunately, Punk. that was only the start of the brawl. While the kid in the hoodie was down on the floor, Olive started raining kicks on him, black boots flashing up and down like a swarm of wasps. One of her heels snapped, and Olive screamed in rage like it was the unconscious man's fault for her shoe breaking. She grabbed a nearby plastic tray and began wailing on the kid with it. She was absolutely berserk. I snapped out of my shop while she was swinging the tray. Stop! I'm calling the police! Olive snarled at me and then threw the tray like a frisbee. It smacked into my temple, leaving a small cut, <laughs> Bruh. but not doing much damage. She looked like she was about to scramble over the if counter to come this after lady, me. Bruh. But Popeye wrapped a huge arm around her and half carried, half dragged the woman out of the store. <laughs> over I left some the counter Popeyes? to check on the knocked out kid the while my dead. manager called the police. The guy's face was basically one big bruise patched Holy in shit. several shades of purple and red. My boy got his ass beat. His nose was clearly broken. A star burst of blood running from above his wow. lips and below his chin. Wow. The scariest injury, however, was the swollen knot on the back of the kid's uh, head. Yeah, from the freaking haymaker him full sneak on shot. With the sucker punch, and my immediate fear was that there could be bleeding in the brain. Probably. Kid's probably the dead now. The police and the ambulance arrived at the same time, maybe five or six minutes after Popeye and Olive fled the scene. The kid in the hoodie was still knocked out and bleeding, but at least he was breathing. I saw the two paramedics exchange a concerned look as they loaded the guy up on a gurney, wrapping a neck brace around his throat Jesus, before bro. sliding Over into the Over some ambulance. Popeyes. Police officers buzzed around the I, restaurant, I can't, I can't taking believe statements this. from staff and any customers who saw the incident. I was providing a description of Popeye and Olive, Over some trying Popeyes. not to look at the streak of blood running from the counter to the floor when a familiar face walked into the restaurant. No way, it's them. I blinked and stopped talking mid-sentence. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was Olive. She'd removed the blonde wig, revealing choppy dark hair, and she'd put on sunglasses, but it was unmistakably the same Tell woman. Tell him. Is this the line to order? Tell she him. snapped. I'm in a hurry. That's her, I told the officer, pointing. She's the one who started the brawl. Olive's eyes went wide. She was clearly stunned that her horrible yeah. disguise hadn't fooled anybody. She took off, sprinting she through the door with the three officers uh, at her uh, heels. Uh, about to get you. I rushed to the window to watch. Popeye was sitting on the parking lot on a motorcycle. A cop tackled Olive into the asphalt before she could make it to her escape. Scrape your knee. I expected Popeye to jump off his bike Hell to help no, her. Hell no, he rode away. But instead, he tried to peel out. Of course. A police cruiser blocked him before he could get out of the parking lot and had several police officers working together to pull the big man off his motorcycle. Both he and Olive resisted arrest until the tasers came out. Then the pair were howling in pain. Did you tased up, bruh? I have bro? to admit... It felt get satisfying you to up, see bro. the couple get a taste of their own medicine. But my smile was fleeting. Wiped away as soon as I remembered how the kid looked Poor as kid. they were loading him into the ambulance. Did he survive? Broken, bruised, and bloody. All he wanted to do was order lunch and stick Just up for his place sandwich, in line. Bro. 
I took out my phone to record the police tasing Popeye yeah, and Olive. Yeah, probably went viral I too. I promised myself I'd check up on the kid at the hospital after work. Oh no. And if he was awake, I'd show him the video. Oh, I thought she was going to say she'd give him a chicken sandwich. That is going to do it for me today, guys. Hopefully you did go into today's video. And if you did, smack a like on it. That'd be greatly appreciated. Comment down below what else you guys want to see on the channel. But with all that being said, my name is Chris. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.